Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having an amazing day so far. This afternoon, what we're planning on doing is I have been wanting to make, um, like just pre-cook some things, have some things handy in the freezer. Um, specifically today, we're gonna focus on things that I can put into my husband's lunches um, because he obviously has to eat lunch at work every day and sometimes I'm just not sure what to put in his lunch and sometimes I find myself putting the same things over and over again and I feel like it must get so boring. So today I want to just put a little bit of effort into making some fun, different types of foods that I'll have handy in the freezer and we can just stick into his lunches in the mornings. Um, so I'm gonna make two breakfast things I believe and two lunch things. So for the breakfast things, I'm going to make some breakfast sandwiches with English muffins. I'm not gonna do very many of those um, just because I wanna try it out. He's um, not a picky eater, but he <laughs> absolutely hates when food gets soggy and I'm not sure how those freeze, like how they are after they've been frozen. I know I tried breakfast burritos once and they got pretty soggy, so don't want that happening again. And I also want to do pancakes or waffles, either one. But I was like, why have I not thought of this before? You could make them, freeze them in little packets, and they would be so nice for like a hearty breakfast. And then for lunches, I had made homemade pizza the other day and we had like half of half of the dough I just froze because we didn't need that much. And so we're going to make some little like single size pizzas. That's my plan out of that dough. And everything is going to be baked, like completely finished. All he's gonna have to do is warm it up in the microwave. So just to make it really handy. And then the last thing I wanna make is tiny little chicken pot pies. <laughs> I saw this idea making little chicken pot pies in like muffin tins. And I thought that was so cool. I'm just really excited about that. I thought it would be fun to take you all along. So I have some chicken drumsticks going in here. They should be done in 16 minutes. And that's going to be like, I'm going to take the chicken off the bones and we're going to use that for chicken pot pie. And then here's the um, pizza dough. <laughs> it's slightly frozen still. Um, so I'm just gonna let that stuff finish. This is for lunches. I'm gonna start on the breakfast things. Forgot to mention that I'm also going to be making some pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Um, these can be used for breakfast or just for snacks. We got the muffins in the oven baking. We're gonna start on the pancakes next. I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite pancake recipe. It is in this little cookbook, which we got in the States somewhere. We got it at a Cracker Barrel um, on our honeymoon, actually. And um, I found the absolute best pancake recipe ever. This one is actually, it says it's chocolate chip pancakes, but I almost never put chocolate chips in. Like, I just use the main pancake recipe. Um, and we're just gonna do these just plain.
So I'm putting them out on the cooling rack because I want them to cool off completely before freezing them. Um, my plan is also to freeze them on cookie sheets and then put them into smaller packets just so they for sure won't stick together. The muffins are done. They look and smell so yummy. I'm just gonna let them cool off and then we'll put them into Ziploc bags to freeze. Pancakes are done and it's time to make the breakfast sandwiches. So I've prepped and fried and toasted everything and now I'm just going to assemble them. So we've got the cheese, of course, very important. We've got all the English muffins toasted and <laughs> eggs. I'm not sure what you would call this. I pretty much just mixed eggs together and then just fried them <laughs> in one layer kind of thing um, and cut them into pieces. So I'm just going to cut them to size so they fit nicely on the English muffins and of course bacon. lunch thing. We're gonna make um, chicken pot pies. So I'm gonna start with making a crust from scratch. I have a really good recipe. All of the recipes are going to be in the description if you guys want to try them. I definitely made way too much of this filling, but I'm going to just put it in the fridge and then maybe sometime this week we'll have some chicken pot pie for dinner yet. Um, but I don't know if you noticed, but I did put potatoes in there, like little cooked potato cubes, um, because I just find it more like filling that way and I really love the taste of potato in there as well. So now on to the very last thing, which is going to be the little pizzas. While the stove is hot, anyways, I'm going to put in the little pizza crusts. I want to bake them just slightly before putting the toppings on. It's assembly time. I'm going to make them all into Hawaiian. We've got our ham here, pineapple, onions, cheese, and pizza sauce. Get into 
that point where I'm quite tired of running around. I've been rushing and cleaning everything up. Um, I just wanted to get the dishes done. There was an insane pile of dishes and I wanted that done before my husband got home. So now I have everything. Everything is pretty much cooled off. The pizza is still kind of working on it, but I have everything set on the table and we're going to like put everything in um, serving size packages, like in Ziploc bags to freeze so I can just simply grab them out of the freezer and stick them in his lunch pail. Here is all the finished products. Today was definitely very productive. I'm so happy with everything I got done. I'm just gonna have to put everything into the freezer yet and we're good to go. So I hope this video inspired you. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna leave all the recipes in the description. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed spending the afternoon with you. Um, so I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.